from Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus three hours and holding. We are now in the final five and one half hours of the countdown for the launch of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on the second mission to dock with the Russian Mir Space Station. T minus three hours and holding. This is shuttle launch control. And it's taken somewhat longer than usual to fill the uh, liquid oxygen tank today since we had a brief failure of the liquid oxygen pump at the launch uh, pad at the storage tank. Here we are now in the uh, dining room at the crew quarters where we see the five STS-74 crew members. And at the end of the table is mission specialist Bill MacArthur. Canadian astronaut and mission specialist Chris Hatfield. The commander of our mission, Ken Cameron. Mission specialist and flight engineer, Jerry Ross. And at the far end of the table, our pilot, Jim Haltzell. And after lunch, they'll go for a briefing on the weather outlook of uh, great interest to, uh, to them this morning and then to the crew suit up room to don their launch and entry suits. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours in holding where we are now in the suit it room and we see our commander Ken Cameron across the room and our pilot Jim Halsell undergoing their final suit up and check out of their helmet pressurization checks mission specialist Chris Hatfield who will be operating the remote manipulator arm during this flight the room again uh, we still Bill MacArthur finishing his uh, suit up activities and this should be Jerry Ross indeed these uh, launch and entry suits are not very comfortable but they're certainly functional, very visible. Temperature now at the uh, launch pad at uh, 58 degrees. Picking up the count now in three, two, one, T minus three hours and counting. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 54 minutes, 55 seconds and counting. And the STS-74 astronauts now are leaving the suit up room headed for the elevator going from the third floor of the operations and checkout building down to the awaiting astronaut transfer van
closeout crew is uh, wetting them. We uh, hope to have at least one site available to us. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 31 minutes, 43 seconds and counting. In the white room at the pad, we see our commander, Ken Cameron. Seeing now pilot Jim Halsell being prepared for his entry into Atlantis. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 17 minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Jim Halsell now boarding Atlantis and astronaut Bill MacArthur is now being assisted with his launch and entry suit and his helmet. And in the white room, we see Canadian astronaut mission specialist Chris Hadfield finishing his suit up and being assisted by the closeout crew. Houston, Atlantis, contact. Atlantis, Houston, good morning, Ken. Seems like we just did this. Yeah, good morning, Blaine. Yeah, it uh, seems like uh, deja vu all over again, but I think this is the last time. I feel pretty good about the uh, situation. I hope it's uh, still looking good over there. Yeah, there's some little gotchas hanging around out there, but I think we can uh, hopefully get those things to work out and get you guys on your way today. We'll, we'll look forward to a good launch. Okay, thanks. We'll be talking to you. See now mission specialist Sherry Ross. Suiting up, he'll be the last aboard. <laughs> and he's our flight engineer, so on both ascent and descent, he'll be sitting in the aft center seat. Uh, Jim, the MMT is working, no issues, you cleared the launch. Copy that. And uh, Atlantis, uh, looks like we got everything lined up, uh, ready for you guys to go, so have a good mission, and we'll see you back here in about eight days. Roger yeah, that. Thanks very much, sir. We sure appreciate the help. And NTD launch director, you have a clearance to launch. NTD copies. Thank you. Orbiter's flight controls have been tested.
and standing by now to gimbal the main engines. We see the speed brake being cycled here. And now the main engines are gimbling or being moved through their operational latitudes. minus three minutes. Yellow Cisco for ET LO2 pressurization. Liquid oxygen tank not being pressurized. Weather officer Ed Perselic just uh, has passed the word that they are now officially green at the pad. And verify no unexpected errors. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood, known as the uh, Gox beanie cap, now being retracted. Copy. Ground launch sequencer will make a check at T minus 37 seconds to make sure that it's in the fully retracted position. Flight crew OTT, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. And looks like the second time was a charm. Have a good flight. Roger that, thank you. And that's complete. CLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. And that was orbiter test conductor Mike Key from Lockheed Martin wishing the crew a good flight. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Hydrogen tank now at flight pressure. T minus one minute. Ground launch sequencer now verifying the main engines are ready for ignition. Heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters are being turned off. The sound suppression water system is being armed. Flight data recorder is now recording. Fill and drain valves on the external tank are closed. Standing by for the handoff to the orbiter's computers. And the handoff has been completed. Atlantis's computer is now controlling. 20. Sound suppression water system activated. 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis with the Russian docking module, the threshold to world cooperation in space. range from the launch pad two nautical miles. Atlantis, go at throttle up. 
Roger, go throttle up. Atlantis three main engines are now back at full throttle. Atlantis altitude 12 miles, nine miles downrange from the launch pad. Atlantis is now traveling 2,400 miles per hour. One minute to 40 seconds since launch, Atlantis has already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Flight controllers are now standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rocket booster first stage. Booster officer confirms a good uh, separation of the twin solid rockets. We might add some holes in it. It was kind of buff colored. When we were opening the port door, it seemed to be riding up the, uh, the aft bulkhead as if it was part of the mechanism. And, uh, and then once we got the door mostly open, we saw that uh, it was float free. And it was moving fairly fast away from the vehicle. Copy, and you've captured some good images. Again for you, if you like. Say again. Yeah, Chris, I think we saw what we needed. We did tape it.